Hey everyone, and welcome to the P-Wing. Today we have a little special reserved games, and uh, that's that is Hotline Miami Collection from Special Reserved Games, and uh, I don't know much about this game, and it's not a new release for the Nintendo Switch. I think it's have been out for the Switch for quite some time. And the reason why I ended up picking it up was because I listened to a Dings podcast called Incast, and they was talking about their top three favorite indie games of all time, and uh, they mentioned Hotline Miami. And uh, if someone recommend a game that much, <laughs> you have to try it out. Even though I'm not sure if the game is for me, but why not try it out? So I was searching for for the game on Google and on eBay, and I found out there was a sale in Denmark that was sold this sealed collector edition uh, for a very good price. So I couldn't let it pass. So I'm pretty excited to try it out. And yeah, you can see there are only eight thousand released for the collector edition. And uh, I have 4,350, so a number in the middle. And um, the quality of of the boxes on Special Reserved Games is always top notch. The things inside is not like uh, some insane things. It's more like premium edition games where you pay for the quality, the in-packing instead of a figurine and a lot of random things so you pay for the for the lovely box and to get it yeah to, to just have it in collection but I will I will open this little baby and see what it looks inside and after that we will check the game out for around yeah 10 minutes or something like that and I will tell you my thoughts and feeling my first impression and I'm definitely going to play this game through the end I, I think I heard so many good things about it that I need to have my own thoughts and feelings about the experience. I'm that kind of person that really, really wants to try games out if someone really recommends a game. I um, have that feeling if a game has moved or touched or another person that much, you have to, even though if you're not going to like it and even though it's not your type of game normally, you have at least to check some gameplay out or, or maybe pick it up by yourself. I'm, I'm that kind of person and uh, I, I need to check it out. And I love that it has made a lot of rings in the water in my community uh, after they have talked about the game. So I know many of my friends and people I know have picked up the, the standard version or the digital version and maybe some of them have picked up the collector edition too. And um, yeah, <laughs> the plastic in the Special Reserved game is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm just enjoying to open it. I know some people <laughs> may not understand it, but I take my time every time I peel off the plastic because uh, uh, I found so much enjoyment to peel off the plastic. <laughs> so here we have the, the box itself and as always, premium, sorry, as always, Special Reserved games have that very nice feeling on the box. It's hard to describe, but it has some kind of. It's uh, it's like a. It had a leather feeling on it. Um, I know it's not leather, but it, it feels like leather, and it have uh, the the stamp from the special reserve game, and that's uh. Yeah, I try to focus. So yeah, this game is made by two people. I think they are from Sweden and uh, brothers, and uh, they have only made these two games as far as I know. I, they told me in the podcast, the end cast, so I have only my knowledge about that from the podcast, so maybe I'm wrong on that. But uh, we do the little trick where we put our knife in so we don't bend the, the top of the box like that. Yeah, thank you for supporting independent developers from around the world. Even though I bought it through another seller. It's still a nice little touch. Oh, look at that, look at that. That looks so premium. Is that a part of the... That's just a part of the inside, I think. No, there is something else. Yeah, there is something else. Okay, let's take... Oh, okay. I actually thought only it was the game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there are... There are some. We have the dog, the Sankt Bernard dog, special reserved games. We can put that back in. 
I'll do with that afterwards. And we got some thing. Got some stickers, kind of. Let's check it out and open it. Oh, we have to be careful. To mess the things up. Let's see. I think it's some kind of stickers. Maybe some magnets, I'm not sure. Yeah, so we got some stickers and, and one of the things I really love about the things I have seen from the game from trailers and from the box itself is that it had that 80 vibes it's from the coloring and the style it reminds me of the 80s okay that's wow okay that's some nice quality here it's not just like a thin paper it has some thickness in it and it's very stiff it's very hard paper I love that, and it's shining. It has some glitter in it. Glitter in it. Uh, really cool art design. And they say it's artwork by Niklas Akerblad. Sorry about butchering the name. And then we have some awesome, awesome artwork here as well. And uh, you can see it's shining a lot. It's like a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, and the text is popping out. Wow. Okay, these two cards is absolutely amazing. I don't think you can get the same feeling out from the camera, but it has really some quality touches on the, on the on the on the pad. Really nice. And then we have just some blank. I think it's just to keep the everything's standing up inside. And here we have the game. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's some thick plastic, I love that. Ooh. Okay, I have to be careful actually, because the plastic is very thick. I was on, almost a little scared that if I uh, was uh, getting the inside plastic, because it's, it's very, very thick, wow. Okay. You know, there's a plastic outside of the switch case itself. And it feels like that, but it's not. It's just very, very thick. <laughs> One moment. That is quality plastic. Okay. Here we go. And again, you can get this just as a standard version, but I'm not sure if it has something special if you get it from Special Reserved Game, because you can see it actually pops a little bit out. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but the character on the front cover is popping out and it has some different texture. I'm not sure if it had that on this normal standard version. Otherwise it's pretty amazing. Okay, nice, I dig this. So you can change the cover to the art cover you have here. I love that part. Even though I don't want to change it around because I still want the, the name on... Okay, yeah, sorry about that. You actually have that name. You can change it. Hmm, I will think about that. Absolutely amazing. And then we got the game itself. Awesome. Okay, and then we have the focus. Then we have the manual, awesome, instruction booklet, and again top notch quality as always with special reserved games, the texting is popping out. Thank you, you have just made the perfect choice by selecting and purchasing this quality product, thank you. Hotline Miami is a high octane action game overflowing with raw brutality, hard-boiled gunplay and skull-crushing close combat set in an, an alternative 1989. Yeah, so it's it has to remind us from the 80s. That's amazing, Miami. You will assume the role of a mysterious anti-hero 
uh, on a murderous rampage against the shade, shady underworld at the behest of voices of your answering machine. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, I love that Rachel kind of touched the manual half. Amazing. So it's a top-down overview you have on the game. And it should be very brutal, brutal with a lot of blood and gore, I think. I'm pretty excited to try it out. I'm not playing normally these type of games, but I heard so many good things about it. But for a change this time, we will actually try the game out. So. I will pack up the whole things and uh, boot up my Nintendo Switch and then we will check out the game for around 10 minutes. So, see you very soon. Let's check out the game. Alright. Okay. Oh, he's taking a piss! Oh! Did I... Did I die? Okay, I have to find a weapon or something? The music! He's taking a piss! Okay, so I... Oh, I can take the bat! Stage clear, okay. Very satisfying sound when you uh, smack his head. Oh! Ah! I'm bad! No! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! No! Okay, okay. Let's go. Oh, no! Okay, I'm bad at this, but. I love it. Okay, I have to run. Ah! I don't have a gun, right? No, I don't have. Okay, I can lock on. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Die, bitch! Okay. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh! Ah! What is that? Oh, that's a uh, iron bat. The music is absolutely amazing! Oh, I die. What? Oh. oh! No! <laughs> I don't know if I have to sneak. Okay, go over here. Oh! Die, bitch! Oh! I, oh! <laughs> this is not Mayo! <laughs> this is not Mayo! <laughs> this is not Mayo! Oh! <laughs> the music is absolutely amazing! I, I can't control my character! No! The door is closed! <laughs> it's because the music is so fire, I can't concentrate! What, man? I feel like I'm on a disco! <laughs> I just want to dance right now. Oh! 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 <laughs> this is crazy. No! Uh, what the fuck? No. Come on, man! Come on, man! Like that. Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. What do I take first out? No. Oh, it's not a door. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. Oh, okay. oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. No! I, st I still think I have the best weapon. So I have to be careful in here. Oh! What? Oh, come on! 
Like that. Okay. Oh, the blood. Die. Oh, die. Okay. I think I... W and then run. Then run. Run, 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 run. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Oh. Stage clear. I like that. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> Go to the car. Okay. I fucking did this right now. It's so brutal. Oh. I have the suitcase. Oh! Oh! No, he, di he didn't die! He didn't die! Die! Oh! <laughs> this is crazy! Okay, that was absolutely amazing. Even though it was just the first level. I have definitely, I definitely want to play this game in the future and uh, maybe doing a live stream, I don't know. If you want to see me live stream the game, uh, let me know down in the comment section. But uh, damn, I, I even though it was just the first level, I can really recommend the game already. Uh, I thought it was very addictive. And um, the music, the art style, everything is just my cup of tea. You, I, I really love the 80s and the, the neon light and the beat is just pumping and can you could you imagine if you i was drinking a monster while i was playing this game there will be some crazy shit <laughs> so uh, really recommend this game uh, <laughs> uh, even though it was just a a really short preview of it um but yeah thank you so much everyone for watching this little unboxing slash gameplay video see you very soon purple love to you all the p-ring signing out bye